Well, hello everyone. Today, it's a hot summer day, so I thought, why not get out up under the shed, out of the sun, and cook up some of those brim I've been catching back there in the springtime. It's a pretty simple method. Uh, I get outside to do most of my fish cooking. Uh, all I use is a little, little camping stove, a propane bottle run by propane, uh, let's get that thing started up here. I'll get that lighter going first. There we go. And let's turn that thing up. Now we got a mold favorite frying pan here. And I've got some, I'm using canola oil. Go ahead and put the oil in there. I want it to get good and hot. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. I want it to get good and hot before I start putting the fish in there. And I like enough to get started good. There we go. That ought to be enough right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that get good and hot. Uh, I take my fish, very simple, I don't have to season it, I don't have to put salt, pepper, anything like that on there. I just go to the store and I buy a pack of fish fry, House Audrey fish fry, original crunchy recipe. That's seasoned, that's got the seasoning on there that Everything I would need comes out the pan with an excellent taste. Uh, very simple. I take a I take a gallon size bag, dump the fish fry in there, put my fish in there. You ever heard of the old uh, system shake and bake? Well, this is shake and fry. Put it in the pan. When it comes out, they are delicious. Let's let that get hot for a few minutes. Okay, folks, I believe our oil is hot enough in the pan now. And like I said, we put our House Audrey uh, fish mix in a five gallon, uh, five gallon, one gallon uh, plastic bag with our fish. We just kind of shook it around in there. It's all seasoned, ready to go. All we got to do now is just take it out, lay it in the pan, and let them do their thing. Oh, yes, that's going to be great there. I have cut the fire down some on it because it was getting a little hot. Now you can tell the size of those fish because I can't even get but two in the pan comfortably. We're going to let that fry for a few minutes, turn it over, let it fry for a few more minutes and we're good to go. Now I'll let mine fry a little bit longer than a lot of people, simply because I like mine a little, a little crunchier than some people do, but it doesn't take that long to cook. All right, let's cook for several minutes. Let's. Let's turn this thing over. The reason I cook on the outside, fry fish on the outside, you got some of this oil sometimes that splashes over on the stove in the house. And if I get out on the uh, uh, table on the outside, up under the shed here and use my camping stove, well, the mess that it makes is not that big of a deal. Okay, fish folks, I believe, calling you fish. Folks, I believe these fish here have stayed in there long enough. Like I say, it doesn't take long. They are golden brown, just the way I like it. Uh, Now, let's 
put some more in there because I got a whole bag here that I'm cooking up today there we go I think I need a bigger frying pan Now we'll let those cook about the same amount of time. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful golden brown? And I guarantee you they taste great. I'm going to lay this back here for the time. Okay, I believe it's time to turn these over. You got to be careful handling this hot oil or you could you want to cook the fish not yourself those are some nice brim there I caught caught those back in spring I had a great time doing it now I'm going to have a great time eating them. Okay, I think it's time to take those out. I think they've cooked long enough. If I cook them any longer, if I can get that out of there, if I cook them any longer, they're going to fall apart on me. There we go. Just trying to do so already. Let some of that oil drain off of them. Now, let's start this process over again. few smaller ones that I caught but we're gonna cook them up also all right situating them in there where they can uh, get evenly distributed we'll turn that fire back up a little bit Gonna be some great eating there. Okay, folks, we were finished cooking. Check that out. Does that not look delicious or what? I guarantee it is. You ought to try it. Like I said, House Audrey or your own brand of seasoning, breader, fish fry, whatever you choose. I just choose House Audrey because it just, it tastes good to me. I've, I've got addicted to the stuff. It, I don't need any more seasoning than that. Put it in that gallon bag shake it around, put it in the pan, bring it out. Golden brown fish just tastes great. I guarantee you, it tastes great. Mm, 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 mm. Man, I'm telling you, that's some good stuff there. Nothing like fried red breast and brim. I know it's not the healthiest for you. I know baking it and broiling it is better. But sometimes you just gotta have a piece of fried pan fish. Boy, that tastes good. Here, have a bite. 
Now, was that not great or what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. God is so good. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And please don't forget, Jesus loves you. God has a plan for your life. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy some more fish. Mm -mm 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 -mm.